Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. It started today in our truck with me and Gabby. Gabby. As if you didn't know her name. Um and we are headed out of town. We're headed to Toronto to the big city for some fun. It is Sophia's birthday weekend. And boy, do we have some surprises coming up. We're going to go and see Sam's family. Some of you guys know them already because you've been watching for a long time. And for those of you guys who don't know them, you're going to get to meet them. And yeah, we'll see well, where Sam came from. It. Sam and Sophie are in there getting us some coffee and a bagel. I got all my stuff. I've got two purses. The purse that I carry all my camera stuff in. Um, my regular purse. I got my diary, my journal. This is where I do all of my... Um, bookkeeping my budgeting every month it's this big huge happy planner and I'm happy with it um, so I'm gonna do my planning for the month all my um, budgeting I'm saving up you guys because the Royal Winter Fair is next weekend and I'm so excited I got my phone here so these are all the things that I take with me on long trips what do you have two you coats this red one which I got at the Horse Expo, and this blue one. Oh my gosh. Hot chocolates. So and then I also got my phone and headphones. headphones. Most important things for a girl to bring on a trip, right? And we have Wi Fi so we can watch YouTube. Some of you guys have been missed it, but Sam bought this box, this little round thing, the other, like a couple of months ago, and we take it on trips with us. And basically, he pays. And he gets, like, he can pay for it for a day or for a month or for monthly. They get a bunch of data and they can use it on any we trip that we go on to. They watch YouTube. They look up stuff on the internet. They, like, have fun. That's so awesome to you guys, huh? Yeah, because he didn't have boys. So, like, he can't buy boy things for us. But he can buy electronic things for us. Yeah, because electronic is where it's at. Like, I like girl stuff, but I like electronics too. I love my computer. <laughs> at the liquor store by Sam's parents. Um, it's his grandpa's birthday, and so he's gonna go and buy him a present, and then we're gonna go bring it, take it over to him. So his birthday's like it's a Italian week after beer. mine. Yeah, his birthday's a week after yours. It's so Italian first beer. Jacob's, and then one week, and then tomorrow, and then another week, and then two. Yeah, like we have a lot of birthdays. Every single person in our family has a birthday. We start in September, we go all the way through January, and well, we then in April. And then we get one in April. One in April. We have one odd duck. One odd duck. And there she is. <laughs> Say quack quack. No. <laughs> um, anyways, I want to tell you guys something before I forget. Okay, so I want to tell you, and I know I've already told you guys I forgot to put the link below, so I'm going to do it again. Sam, put the link below. I'll send you the link. Remind me when you're watching this. Say, Laura, send me the link. Anyway, remember last week when I explained to you guys about this um, De Equine Devil Advocate podcast? Um, so I've been listening to it and because it pops up on my phone. So um, I'll be doing something like yesterday with sewing something and then I listen to it. But this is what happened. So it's this woman and she tells like a story on it and they're all equine stuff and, and she's like a trainer. And um, anyway, so this is, this is what the story this week was about was about a family who had a pony and the pony was bucking the kids off so she had to go and work with the pony and then so she describes exactly how she worked with the pony and how she fixed him but just the way she says it makes you think the whole time like you, I was riveted I'm riveted to her stories like she tells the story she tells how she fixed it but it's like this amazing story so anyway when I listened to how she fixed the store this this pony like um, I am thinking the whole time, like, and relating it to my life. Like, she's so relatable, I guess that's what it is. But so much more than I ever thought that there was to horses. Like, she, like you guys would love her. Like, you would love the story. So, um, I want you guys to listen to it. And, and she, I want to have a podcast now. Like, 
I don't even know how to have a podcast, but I want to have a podcast because she, I don't know, she's such a good storyteller. Like, I think it's more than just having a podcast. I think you have to be a good storyteller, and she is. But anyway, she is a horse trainer, and she has a really natural way about Mom. supporting a horse. She asked a question, and I forget how she worded it, but the question was, like, should the horse, should the pony follow her, or should she follow the pony? And what do you guys think? Answer below. I just want to, I'm just really curious what you guys think. Should the pony follow her lead or she should adapt to the pony? Like, what do you guys think? We're trained and at our barn um, that we're the boss of the pony, not the pony is the boss of us. It's hard to explain. But I'm learning a different way from listening to that podcast and I'm really, really enjoying it. She posts two times a week, um, Mondays and Fridays, and it, it's amazing. Like, if you guys wanna check it out, I think it'll be such a good, good thing. Because if she can motivate me, I'm sure she can motivate you guys. And if she could teach me something, I'm sure she could teach you guys something too. Okay, we are at Sam's grandpa's house. And you guys know, anybody who doesn't know, he um, was born in Italy, moved here before Sam was born, and brought his family here. And he... Um, it's this little teeny tiny, like Sophia's height, little teeny tiny Italian man. He hardly like taller. Yeah, me. he hardly speaks any English. But anyway, you guys will probably get to meet him. I'll get Sam to video him. But yeah, he's adorable. Come on. Okay, so it's pouring <laughs> rain outside, and he was just on his way to go and feed the ducks. This is what he does every single day. He goes and he feeds the ducks bread. He's I know, don't bread. I know? But ducks should not drink, eat bread. Blah blah blah. I get that. But anyway, he feeds them bread, and he goes every single day, and. They're not afraid of him. They come up to him. He can pet them. And when he leaves them, they want to go home with him. That's what he just told me. So Sam's like, it's your birthday. We're going to go feed the, feed the ducks with you. He wants to walk, set in his ways. Um, so yeah, we're going to meet him at the park and we're going to feed bread to the ducks. My kids are going to die. You're going to die. Like, I want to be an old, I'm going to be an old bag lady who takes my bag of bread down to go and feed the ducks. Lives outside of status quo. even more cool okay this is cool you guys um the baker delivers the bread to sam's grandpa at his house for free so that sam's grandpa can feed the duck the bread is free yeah the uh, bread is bread. The, it's old, old bread they it's old bread it's all free the baker delivers it to sam's grandpa and he takes it down and feeds the the ducks it's like amazing to be this is a huge city toronto and he's in this little this is like memory lane this is where i used to go uh tobogganing all the time when i was a kid yeah and sam's grandpa took him everywhere jeff healy park, jeff healy park. so this is sam's stomping grounds you guys yeah. look at how pretty i just want to say uh it's called jeff it used to be called woodford park because uh, that's what it used to be called and then uh jeff healy died they they named it after him, Jeff Healy, because he actually came. He's actually from this neighborhood. My uncles um, used to see him playing his guitar up here uh, while they hang, hung out in this park and actually, you know, kind of made fun of him. <laughs> this is blind guy playing music on the park and they just made fun of him. And now he's this uh, superstar, Jeff Healy. And I didn't even know that until I said, hey, how come they named it Jeff Healy Park? And he's like, well, Jeff Healy's from this area. I'm like, oh, cool. He's calling the ducks. He calls them. You want a video? Oh my God. Oh my God. He calls them. Oh my God, I want this life. Look at them. Yeah. Okay, here, take it. Oh. Look at they love him, but they're nervous of us. Oh, that's Oh my gosh. Aww. We want some ducks at our house. Can you feel it? Something is behind the clouds. We just have to believe it. But we can make the sun come out. Let us lose ourselves in a fairy tale. Who can say what's wrong or right? We're the only ones who can decide. Baby, you and I, baby, you and I should start living now. 
were all waiting here for him. Imagine the time when the only people who really need you are the ducks. You're always needed by somebody. Like, what an amazing, beautiful thing to see. Yeah. So if you guys don't know who Jeff Healy is, Jeff Healy is a famous rock musician and years and years and years ago he used to play here up on the hill. See the hill? And Sam's uncle and other people would always make fun of him and, and, and now he's famous and he was blind and sometimes when people make fun of you and criticize you sometimes, for some people, sometimes it's the motivation you need to become successful. When we started our videos. So many people made fun of us. So many people teased us. So many people told us not to do it. And it just pushed us harder. It just pushed me harder. Sometimes when you're going through a really rough time and people are making fun of you, keep on going guys. Just keep on going. Because sometimes that motivation that you get from the negativity is exactly what God intended to push you to where you need to be. Hey guys, we're at my parents' house. Oops, we're at my parents' house now and I squeezed the truck into the little parking spot. Come on, get out of the way. My shoes are hard. That's why you wear Crocs. They're easy to get on and off. Yeah, but I don't sure. like Here we go. You have to go to the park to see the ducks too, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. you heard about that. Right. You remember my mom? Oh, I did not see that. You didn't see the ducks? No, I didn't see the <laughs> picture. <laughs> your sister did. That's because you don't use your phone, remember? Right here morning. we're eating some <gasps> strawberry. <laughs> cakes. Who made the cupcakes? Look at all the food. Hey, are you in the army? That's an army haircut. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew he was here eating all my sausages. Sausages. Meat. Pizza. I don't want nobody stabbing me with love. Don't wanna waste no time getting my feelings hurt. I believe in those things we don't know much of. There's just so much to see that ain't about love. I'm ready to face my fears. I'm ready to taste the weird. Gabby just said that having grass on the outside of the arena is the key because now she's using her corners. Storm's doing it all on his own. Oh, now he's not. He's like, let's go to the corner where there's grass. He looks way dirtier out here than he did in the bar. <laughs> uh, other than tipping him upside down and shaking all the sand out, I don't know how to fix that. Taste the weird. I just want to walk the hills above. My ordinary life, I could let it burn. Cause I just want to go. Outside leg, outside leg, outside leg, keep going. Outside leg, outside leg, get your legs on them all the time. I'm ready to taste the weird. I just want to walk the hills above. My ordinary life, I could let it burn. Cause I just want to go. Down 
I want to see those calves and those heels on her, his belly. Hold them on. I can't forget what you time. The way you act won't take me back. Just go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, I can't forget what you time. The way you act won't take me back. Just go, go, go. I want you to circle this end of the arena. More like, get your legs on! Take a look at the way you, the marks you just made. Did you make a circle or did you make a square? All right, let's make a circle now. When I'm down, you pick me up. You and me, we shine it dust. And we won't ever get enough. They don't know. They don't know. In your eyes, I put my trust. Smaller still. Smaller. We need to get her a megaphone. It's hard to hear out here at the road. And I'm loud. Leg, leg, leg. So when you put that leg on, you don't want to give away your outside rain. As you turn the corner, you're only pulling in with your inside rain right now. Now that's not a very good thing. We need to use both reins and our legs to turn. Outside leg, turning. Outside rain, outside rain. More leg. Bank with the whip. Imagine your hands are handcuffed together. They're gonna to steer together. Bring your legs back and on his belly and keep them there the whole time. Squeeze and 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 don't stop squeezing. Yeah. I could put money in there, but it might blow away if she drops squeeze, it. Squeeze. Wait till you see the line after you get off of them. She'll just see as soon as she turns the corner. Or, uh, yeah, that's what I meant. When you get here, wait till you see the line. Take a look. It's all Storm's fault. You need to use both legs and both brains to keep them straight. That's not too bad, though. I mean, way better than I could do. She's like, what? I have to do it again? Do a circle at that end and come back up the center line! The movies, the movies. We gonna do it like we do in the movies. When I'm down, you pick me up. Try not to overcompensate. Try to just keep him straight. Keep his nose in front of your hips. That's it. Keep his nose in front of your hips. Good. You feel him starting to lean? Close a leg. Good. Nose on straight. Put his nose on straight. Go that way. Good. That was much straighter. Ah. That's it. 
I want you to warm them up first. We're going to just go nice and big and fast, and then we're going to collect them together. Gallop around the ring three or four times. Go. How fast can you go? Yeah, there you go. Keep going. Fun, it's exhilarating. Enjoy it. Is it the footing? One more gallop down! Gallop, gallop, gallop! Good, now all I want you to do is sit in the saddle. Don't touch his mouth, just sit. Thumbs on top. Swap his lead on you because he yanked on his head. Thumbs on top, shoulders back. I just wanna be around you Yes. Got it. 
she Thank rides you. with no stirrups all the time. I know. Now your leg is stuck. Squeeze him with your heels. Say, come on. Whoop, don't jump off the circle. Go. Back to the canter. I think you can do it. I think you're strong enough. A little bit, yep. Let him go. Take your feet out. Good. Now long legs. Leg on and push him up in front of you. Push his shoulders up to your chin. That's it. Push. Say, come on. <laughs> it's probably like me. Like, don't go faster. That's it. You want him to go up. We're not asking him to run faster. We're asking him to lift his canner, which means his feet have to think about moving faster and your hand stays quiet to lift him. Go, 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 go. Yes, top of the whip. Push your outside hand forward. There, and walk. time we come to Toronto Sam has to show us some iconic place from his childhood and today is no exception where are we Sam Tom's Dairy Freeze I was getting chocolate with chocolate on top so basically it's this little teeny tiny hut I don't even think you can go oh yeah you can go in but it's not like a restaurant it's got an ATM machine outside it's got a hose and it's got a little tiny store Baby, you Look at it. it was established the year I was born. There is nothing in between. So baby, we should start living now. Cause we only have this life. One. Yeah? Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.